What's going on YouTube? It's Maddie with Fusero Fitness and this is a video I've been wanting to get up for a while. I've had it recorded and it really stresses the importance of warming up your shoulders and also working your rotator cuffs. These are just a couple of exercises you can do. You have your internal and external rotations that can be done on the cable machine. They can be done with dumbbells as you will see demonstrated in this video and they can also be done with resistance bands as you will see next. People tend to overlook these exercises and I have actually dedicated full days or sessions in the gym just to rotator cuff work because you have to understand when you perform major shoulder movements and other upper body power movements, your rotator cuffs play a huge role in assisting these presses. It doesn't really take much to tear a rotator cuff. It can happen from something as simple as just turning the wrong way. It's definitely essential to have stability and strength in your shoulders. There are a bunch of little muscles that make up the rotator cuff known as the teres minor, the infraspinatus, the supraspinatus, and the subscapularis. They are all collectively called the rotator cuff. And when your muscles are weak in this area, it often causes muscle impingements and sometimes muscle tears, which nobody wants to deal with. If you dedicate enough time and you work at strengthening these little muscles, your shoulders will feel much stronger and it will improve all of your core lifts, which will in turn lead to better growth, strength, and overall development while reducing any risk of injury. Typically, I like to do about three to four sets of each of the workouts you've seen here, and I like to keep it in the rep range of about 12 to 20. You're working with light weight, but you want to make sure you're getting a thorough workout and warm up. As I said earlier, I do like to dedicate full sessions in the gym just focusing on rotator cuff work. It has greatly improved my strength and my core lifts, my shoulder presses, my bench presses. And I understand these workouts and warm-ups may look boring or be boring, but we're in this for longevity. We want to continue to lift weights, so we want to take any caution we can to make sure we prevent any risk of injury. I want to give a huge shout out to a fellow YouTuber and friend of mine whom you're probably familiar with, Big Play Ray. If you are unfamiliar with him or his channel, I highly suggest checking it out. I will have a clickable link so you can click anywhere on this screen where it will take you to his page and his videos. And what you're seeing on the screen now is his shoulder warm up and rotator cuff work and links to his video on how to avoid a shoulder blowout by training the rotator cuff properly. I remember stumbling over his channel quite some time ago before I even started my YouTube channel and all it took was one video for me to be hooked. I was lucky enough to get the opportunity to speak with him a couple of times on the phone and we've had some great conversations and I truly consider him a friend of mine and I really invite you to go check out his channel. His videos are excellent, his personality, his delivery and his presentation are all top notch. So once again, feel free to click anywhere on the screen or just visit him at youtube.com slash bigplayray09 and you can also check out his Facebook page, Get Results. Until next time, thank you very much for watching and look forward to us collaborating in the future for more videos. Thanks again for your continued support. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video and until next time, I'll see you later.